DCC decoder fitting to the Helian Class 47 Loco. I've already had this running around the layout and it's uh, a fine Class 37 diesel locomotive Loco by Helian, very nicely boxed in the typical Helian card box with um, foam inserts, detailing packs, etc. All in the foam. Um, it's got the snow plows and all sorts of other extra details in there, including a, an extender plug. No idea what that's for, but there's many little plug there with a couple of wires on it and the instructions do show you how to add a DCC chip and do explain that it's fairly easy to remove the uh, case by unclipping the body shell from the chassis right in order to do that I make use of my trusty little piece of card because this is a body shell which is attached to the chassis by means of some lugs inside and so with a small screwdriver it's possible just to create a small gap identify where the lugs are and then slide the card in so that you hold the lugs out and you do that at all four points where the lugs are located there, there, and I think it's conveniently supplied with places where you can insert a screwdriver. So just a fairly thin card will do. Now the chassis isn't quite as easy to take out then as you might hope. This under part to the chassis actually unclips and so when you pull on that you might actually take that off uh, but if you're having difficulty extracting the chassis then it's possible to make it easier by just inserting a thin screwdriver above the buffer beam at the front and you will then release the tension there and at the same at the other side thin screwdriver thin blade between the buffer beam and the front, you now have the chassis free and it can be extracted from the body shell or the other way around. Well, the decoder chip we're going to fit is the Lens standard decoder chip, which has this number 10231-01. Uh, comes in the normal lens box. It's the one with the flying lead and an eight pin plug. And you can see there's an 8-pin blanking plug on there. The reason for this video is basically because it wasn't quite straightforward working out how to fit this. Because on the diagram it shows a um, DCC chip and it shows a header plug. Um, it doesn't actually show where pin 1 is on this base. Uh, so there's no indication of um, where pin 1 is on the board. It shows it as though the wires are coming out downwards like that. So if you followed the picture, you might insert the plug this way up. But before inserting the plug, we thought it was worthwhile checking which was pin 1. Now the picture in the lens booklet, the booklet that comes with the chip, is basically the same one as you will see on the Hornby website. The one on the Hornby website is in colour, whereas this is monochrome. But it reminds you that red and black uh, come from the track, and that grey and orange go to the motor. And then you can look elsewhere and find out which pins red and black go to. 
so that pin one is a motor so that's going to be grey or orange uh, and then left and right rail pickups are from four and eight so red and black will be to four and eight opposite corners of the chip and orange goes to pin one which is a motor connection as shown there well okay it's possible to see the orange goes to pin one here but take the blanking plug has no indication as to which is pin one and remove this and there's no indication on the circuit board as to pin one you may notice that i've scratched to one on there how did i identify that as pin one well i had to do some tracing of the um wires there are two wires here going to the front which are uh, from uh, lights I guess but also two wires coming up from the bottom two letters called S and DC and if we follow those wires through we find that one goes to this pin and then the other one goes to that pin so those two pins are from the track and must therefore be four and eight. Pin one, you can't exactly see where it goes, but appears to go in between here and to one of these resistors to this plug here, which is a plug to the motor. The other motor plug then is motor connection pin five, which will be the gray. And so if we look along here and find the gray, um, then if you turn it upside down then that would be the grey but basically the way of finding out which is pin 1 is by finding out which are 4 and 8 i.e. the red and the black wires by tracing it through from the track pickups from these bogies through this plug and then through the PCB track connections which means that this pin here when it's laid this way that's that top right pin is pin one and is the pin that the orange goes into so unlike the diagram where the wires appear to come down this plug has to be put in that way up from the lens decoder but the basic thing is whichever decoder you use pin one is there at the top the way I followed that one through there's NMRA is written on there that way up that doesn't help either the way the writing is because pin one's at the top I did see that wire in the pack here with a little plug on it and there are two spare sockets labeled AC one at each end of the circuit board uh, and I'm sure that's for further investigation as to what you might connect into there uh, but at the moment what you've got is the powering motor there and then the auxiliary leads out to the lights coming out from labelled W and R that side and presumably W and R that side so quite a few small plugs one two three in that end one there for the motor in the middle and those so the input is S stroke DC outputs from functions R and W and that was probably white and red for the lights which are going forward and reverse and then the AC for whatever is added on to that um, and I don't know what that is so when it focuses having worked out which is pin one then that top right one it's possible to insert the decoder plug into the board so that the orange is at the top right red and black are opposite ends uh, what is one two three four five six seven and eight so eight is the bottom right we can press the, that down and we can fit the body 